Let's take a look at a creature that is significantly more interesting and unfortunately deadlier than they appear. Jellyfish. Jellyfish are soft-bodied, free-swimming aquatic animals with a gelatinous umbrella-shaped bell and trailing tentacles. The bell can pulsate to acquire propulsion and locomotion. 1. They aren't fish. A jellyfish is certainly gelatinous. But is it a fish? Not at all. A type of zooplankton. It is more scientifically appropriate to refer to them as jellies. What is plankton? Plankton is typically defined as a type of smaller microscopic organisms. Drifting or floating in the sea of fresh water. Jellies fall under the phylum of Cnidaria and the class Cichozoa. They exist in an amazing range. Unlike everything you ever knew. Jellies are even present in some freshwater lakes. Such as the Craspedicusta sauvii, which has a preference for standing bodies of water. 2. Jellies are very very old. In fact, they are prehistoric creatures. Predating even the dinosaurs. It has been suggested that jellies are over 500 million years old. Making them the oldest multi-organ animals. It's even been proposed that jellies could be as old as 700 million years old. Like other prehistoric creatures, the structure of jellies is very simple. However, the jelly is approximately 98% water. That explains why jellies simply evaporate after beaching themselves on sand. 3. Jellies sense their environment. Jellies are able to detect light, chemicals, and vibrations in the water. But they don't possess a centralized brain. Instead, jellies have nerve nets. What is a nerve net? A nerve net is a network of neurons that conducts impulses in every direction from a stimulus. The common in invertebrates such as flatworms. The nerve net enables jellies to sense their environment and also control the actions of the body. Just like our brain does. However, they are much more complex and therefore harder to understand. Jellies boast three fascinating features. 1. Statocysts. 2. Ropolia. 3. Ocelli. 4. But scientists still don't know if they can see. The cubozoan jelly, also known as the box jellyfish, has complex eye-like structures, leading scientists to believe they may be able to see just as we do. The ropolia contains lenses, corneas and retinas, everything we traditionally believe indicates the ability to see. However, scientists are yet to figure out exactly how jellies interpret these images as well as having eye-like structures in its ropolia. The box jellyfish also has 24 ocelli, appearing as dark pigmented spots on the body. The box jellyfish has more advanced ability to detect light than its gelatinous cousins. It boasts a whopping 24 ocelli, meaning it has a 360-degree view of the light intensity in its immediate environment. They are pretty amazing creatures. But don't be inclined to touch with the ability to kill a human in under a couple of minutes. The box is known as the world's most venomous marine creature. 5. Let's talk about bodily functions. Like the shrimp, with its gastrovascular tube. The jelly has what is known as a multifunctional gastrovascular cavity, which performs all its essential digestive functions in a single location. Originally, it was believed that the jelly had an orifice that functioned as both the mouth and the anus. However, that isn't true. Well, it isn't in the case of the comb jellyfish. At least, comb jellies are ancient marine predators whose comb-like cilia refract light as they swim, instead of waste being expelled through its multifunctional orifice. Indigestible particles were recently captured on video exiting through what have been deemed as pores. This was a big turning point in what we know about jellies. Scientists propose that jellies, or at least this type, filter waste through specially designed pores. The original video footage showed a tiny ring of muscles surround each pore, leading researchers to believe the comb jelly has a network of sphincter-like holes. This discovery aligns with what we know about the respiration. Jellies can their oxygen through diffusion. Therefore, they don't need a respiratory system. How is that possible? Simple, they have exceptionally thin skin. 6. They mate in interesting ways. Jellies can reproduce both sexually and asexually. But the reproductive method of choice depends on the stage of life the jelly is at. An adult jellyfish reproduces sexually and a juvenile, known as a polyp, is able to reproduce asexually. 
polyps are able to clone themselves and the clones then grow into the adult form, which are capable of reproducing sexually. Interesting. So how do jellies reproduce sexually? After the male releases its sperm through its orifice into the water, the sperm swim into the female's orifice and fertilize the eggs. But it isn't as boring as that. One species, Cocula civicaceae, has been seen to do a mating dance as part of its reproductive ritual. It makes you wonder what other species of jellies do that we just haven't witnessed. 7. Three lakh species remain undiscovered. With a current species list hovering at around 2,000, there are more undiscovered jellies than there are discovered. It has been speculated that there could be as many as 3 lakh species yet to be seen by humans. Many jellyfish have bioluminescent organs, which emit light. This light may help them in a number of different ways, like attracting prey and distracting predators. And speaking of sight, jellies can be very colorful. It all depends on how deep they live. Jellies that live close to the surface are likely to be colorless. Jellies that reside in the depths of the ocean are more likely to be brightly colored. 8. Jellies are big troublemakers. We all know the jelly can pack a sting powerful enough to kill. But did you know that jellies can cause a nuclear power plant to shut down? Nuclear power plants often rely on a seawater inlet as a cooler. And when that body of water happens to possess a bloom, a group of jellies, chaos ensues. It's happened internationally, from the United States, to Japan, and even Sweden. Jellies are shutting down nuclear plants in record numbers. Jellies also have the ability to devastate the fishing industry. How? Because jellies feed on fish eggs and larvae, making it difficult for fish to keep the population numbers consistent. That was the case when the comb jelly took over the Black Sea, subsequently wiping out the $350 million fishing industry. Scientists have been developing interesting ways to deal with the threat of jelly blooms. KAIST, a Korean science and technology university, has come up with a robot capable of, well, attacking a swarm with a fan blade system. With the ability to destroy 900 kilograms of jellyfish per hour, it could just be a solution. 9. Surprisingly, jellies have the uses. More than 90% of planktonic species are known to produce light. And it is estimated that about 50% of jellyfish are bioluminescent. What is bioluminescence? Bioluminescence is the biochemical emission of light by living organisms. Equoria Victoria. A bioluminescent hydrozoan jellyfish is famous for being the source of two proteins fundamental to bioluminescence, equorin and green fluorescent protein, also known as GFP. In 2008, Asamu Shimomura, a Japanese organic chemist and marine biologist, won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry for his work on GFP, instrumental in the advancement of biomedical research. GFP can illuminate specific proteins in the human body to track activity in cells. Known as a biomarker, it allows scientists to recognize the activation of genes, making jellies incredibly useful creatures indeed. And it's not just the bioluminescence that's useful. A study of the locomotion, or the way they move, is proving instrumental in the advancement of technology. 10. Passive energy recapture. The structure of jellies enables them to propel the bodies through the water in a pulse-like mechanism. This type of movement is called passive energy recapture. Studies have shown it gives jellies a propulsive advantage allowing them to travel 30% farther than they would have been able to otherwise. This propulsive advantage has been incorporated into technological systems, such as the 170-pound military drone named CSIRO, engineered by Virginia Tech. The purpose of the drone is to conduct underwater military surveillance, underwater mapping, and species observation, in the most intelligent way. Modeling the design on the efficiency of a jellyfish enables the droid to be energy efficient, allows it to blend into its environment, and ensures it can operate autonomously.